Hi, you guys. Welcome to Cancerian Chronicles. We're going to jump into the energy of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Really, if you have Cancer anywhere in your chart, the messages may resonate. Um, even if you don't have Cancer in your chart, the messages may resonate, especially if you are dealing with um, a person or you have like um, a person in your energy that is a Cancer. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what the messages are. Um, but the first thing we have is where it says message. So someone is about to receive some type of message. Um, this is, this went sideways. Uh, we have marriage. So it's like there is a message about a marriage that didn't take place. that almost took place. Something like that. Uh, let's see. Someone, um, wants to return home someone wants to go home and uh someone wants that old thing back someone wants their the person their main female this person may see you as the main female and that's what they want to go back to um you could have been previously married to this person and um yeah so you're about you for some of you guys you're receiving a message um from an old uh, from an ex ex spouse um that they want to return home or they want you to return home um because you're the only person that they want to be with because at the bottom we have great fortune um and this person is thinking about like how life was so much better uh with you in it or with you around hmm Keep going. And let's see what else we get. Oh, geez. Um, yeah, we have blossoming abundance. So I'm getting the sense of like you may have, uh, you know, like some this person may have been watching you and they're starting to see like your you're starting to be uh, financially more financially secure or you're starting to get. A lot more things uh, coming into your life something that you've been growing or working on to manifest is starting to become a reality I'm not gonna take these cards but I'm looking at them yeah we have caring um, connections so it could be you know of course that you were in some type of relationship with this person a loving uh, for the most part a loving relationship but there were some financial concerns or financial constraints and for some of you guys it was a part of your actual divine destiny for you to separate now I don't know um, from what I understand most people when they divorce and then they try to get back together it typically ends in divorce but you know not always um yeah at the bottom we have woman holding a heart so it's like maybe this person sees you as being like the key to their heart so i'm really getting uh, being guided to say like you know like no matter what if this person hasn't made any um changes like let's say that you walked away from this person if they haven't made anything if they haven't done anything to improve themselves um that's gonna be a clue a clue right off the bat as to like what you need to do as it relates to this message um that you receive and you'll know if they've made some changes like based off of how they are speaking to you what fell to the floor is um the fourth chakra which has to do with the heart and this is archangel Raphael. um so I'm kind of getting a sense of like for some of you guys, this person has not healed, like they haven't made any attempts to heal, like not in the slightest. Um, they are just seeing you living your best life. They're seeing you become much more abundant. 411 uh, was just on the timer. Wow, everything is just falling. Um, this person, their life may be falling into shambles. Um, it could be that they thought I'm hearing like, you know, you'll be back you'll be back and so this fell to the floor so some of them they were waiting not so patiently because it was in reverse but they were waiting thinking that you were just gonna come back come running back is what i'm really getting okay so now we have angel of love angel of balance 
in the thinking woman. So you might have someone that, you know, like this person is going to come back talking about how much I'm like you, I'm hearing you are my everything. Like this person might come back talking about how much they love you, how much they want to be with you. Um, but I'm getting the sense of like, um, I'm hearing something about love bugs. So I don't know. Um, but some of you guys have already, um, been on this journey of like self-love you know who you are you know what it is that you want you know what it is that you deserve and what you bring to the table and you're not going to accept anything less and that's like whether this is about love or whether this is you know it doesn't even matter um so i'm getting the sense of like if you used to be super emotional when it came to love and relationships like at this point you're able to stay completely um balanced and think a little bit more with the thinking woman you're able to think a little bit more logically um, in that aspect right messages for cancer yeah yeah, we have door to personal healing and happiness um, at the bottom. Yeah, some of you guys remember I said like it was a part of your contract for you guys to separate for you to go on a journey to some of some type of healing. Um, that's just how it's meant to be. And here we go with, the, you know, it went ahead, it fell to the floor, but it wanted to come out with that fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Um, so, yeah, you've done some a, a lot of healing work when it comes to your heart. Do I take this? It didn't feel like a good. Sorry, I don't know why I'm, I'm yawning. I've had plenty of rest. Um, I'm being guided to say like if, oh wow. This was the card that I was like, should I take it? It didn't feel like it was a good shuffle. It was the deceit card, right? And so I didn't take it and I just went ahead and shuffled and here it is, right? Um, so it came out anyway. So um, someone along your journey um, may have been doing things to try to, uh, yeah, we have rest and rejuvenation to kind of interrupt, to intervene, to interfere when it comes to uh, you going along your path. So there might have been some type of sneaky, deceptive behavior. Um, maybe because they had some doubt. Um, they may have had some doubt thinking that, you know, like if they didn't intervene, like you wouldn't give them a chance. And so I'm getting the sense of like for a lot of you guys, again, like you'll know if this person has healed um, or if they have not. So honestly, you guys were both probably supposed to be on a journey to healing. Um, you guys could have had some type of codependent relationship. And so there needed to be a little bit of a separation. I'm getting the sense of like for some of you guys, this is your person. This has always been your person. This has always been the one. You may not have even ever had any doubts about this person, whether or not they are your true counterpart or the love of your life or something like that. But what you have started to doubt is whether or not in this lifetime, this person is going to actually deserve that spot because it's not enough to just be have a connection and to just be a soulmate like they have to put in the work. You have to put in the work, right? I'm hearing ain't nothing in life for free. So this person can't enjoy all of your sweet dulce is what I'm hearing. All of your sweet energy. If they're, I'm hearing you didn't put in on this man. Uh, what was that from Friday? Smokey from Friday. So they actually have to put in on the relationship. Someone may have, like you may have been in a relationship with this person and you're super loving and kind, and but you're doing all of the heavy lifting, all of the heavy work again that needed to be cut out so there was some type of intervention to make sure that you guys separated but with the option of getting back together if this other person healed um yeah we have all tied up so also um, this person was supposed to be going through some type of healing journey just like you, but they ended up getting themselves tied up into some type of situation or situation ship is what I'm getting. So it might be that this person is about to start their journey, um, like where you guys could have been separated for 
you know, days, week, months, years, I don't know, but this person is just now about to start in on their healing. And we have here, um, it says third chakra, arch, uh, Archangel Chamuel. This has something to do with like your confidence, right? This relationship may have had you in a state or at a point to where you weren't very confident in yourself anymore. Like kind of like a, a sense of like losing yourself in the relationship, losing yourself in love. And so you were starting to lose some of your confidence and it's what you needed in order to um, build up some type of love, some type of wealth and abundance and to demand the abundance of like uh, love and respect that you deserve in a relationship so that you're not settling. Yeah, strategy is right here. I'm getting a, a yeah, and victory, like being much more logical and strategic in your actions and when it comes to your finances uh your business your work or whatever as well as in your love and relationships including friendships and you know um you know uh interactions with family members that's going to lead you to victory that's the key to your success cancer jeez yeah. messages okay there we go yeah, we have the fifth chakra, um, Archangel Gabriel. So someone is, you're basically, I'm getting that this would be you, but um, because my focus is always gonna be on you, Cancer. It's not gonna be on a third party or some other person. Um, even if they are in the background and I have to speak on them or talk about them, like I'm, I'm not trying to be rude, I'm not trying to be funny, but they're not a priority to me. The priority would be to you right to cancer um and so you that's that might be something that you need to rec remember for yourself your priority your first priority is going to be to yourself um you know don't put any other relationships above uh just yourself and you know of course i'm not gonna 12 12 uh, was just on the timer um but you know of course i'm not talking about like your relationship with the most high um, but any, aside from that, the only thing that comes, um, before you possibly would be, um, you know, depending on what you believe, it would just be the most high. Okay. At the bottom, we have journey. And at the top, we have goddess of the moon. So this is about, I'm looking especially at this, you know, this is the throat chakra, right? So this is about speaking up. Um, some of you guys are meant to speak up. Um, number one, I'm, I'm hearing speak into existence, something to do with love and happiness. You're, you're, you need to make sure that you're speaking up about um, possibly some positive affirmations when it comes to your love and when it comes to your healing and your happiness. Some of you guys need to make sure that you're speaking that into existence. Um, also, some of you guys need to, or, you know, uh, really, this is probably everyone, right? But also make sure, like, along this path, along this journey, you're going to be speaking about your experiences when it comes to uh, love and relationships as well as your journey to um, you know your journey of like self-discovery yeah it's kind of like the secrets of like how you got to where you are or how you got to a point where you were able to love yourself or put yourself first how you were able to um, you know get to this point to where you're happy and and feeling like you are fully like you're whole in your field right because you might have been uh in the past a person that you know i'm hearing how can i breathe without you so you could have been a type of person that was like you know i can't live without this person right um especially if you have a lot of history um with someone but you had to learn how to be whole and complete with or without another person in your life and in your energy yeah we have envy and then we have first chakra archangel michael and it's right here with this deceit you guys so someone may have been deceit 
deceitful when it comes to a house so someone may have lied on some type of paperwork especially if you used to be married to this person they may have forged your signature on something maybe um, something to do with refinancing a home um, or something like that and so you may not know it but you are still or you are um, part owner or you could be um, you're, you're part owner of a home and you don't even know it, right? But someone thought that like them keeping this, um, oh, this secret from you, like they, they were, someone was trying to control you with a house or with a home or some type of home life. Um, so that's for someone. But also we have envy and we have first uh, chakra, which is about, you know, basically this has something to do with uh, security and stability and feeling safe and secure, um, especially, um, you know, just like I'm getting a sense of really like your basic needs, right? Someone is envious of the fact of like your basic needs are always taken care of no matter what. The most high makes sure that you are taken care of no matter what. And this just, just does not sit well with um, this other person. 555 is what I just saw on the timer. Whoever you are, um, you might be someone who, who um, is a little bit, um, I don't want to say strange, but you're like in your head, um, you know, a lot. Uh, maybe you're quite scholarly, you like to read, or you like to learn about um, things that are just out of the ordinary, perhaps. Um, you may have some type of magical gifts and powers, um, so to speak. And, you know, this has led to some type of envy. Magical gifts and, and energy. I'm getting the sense of like this might be your ability to just kind of manifest. Yeah, I'm hearing with the drop of a hat. So someone has the ability to manifest like really quickly. I want it. I got it. I want it. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, so someone has that ability and at the top, we have victory. We have that again. So this is about someone, um, whoever this thinking woman is, um, you know, like you're always, I'm hearing something about you always land on your feet, right? You're like a, a cat. And I'm actually envisioning a black cat for someone. And so I don't know if that has something to do with like your spirit animal or something like that. You see a lot of black cats, um, but like you always land on your feet you always get what you want your needs are always met and someone just wants to know like why that is or how that is they just don't understand and we have the sixth chakra archangel um metatron yeah and so i'm getting the sense of like so this is your third eye and so whatever anytime someone is trying to be deceitful trying to trick you use you manipulate you i'm getting the sense of like you see it a mile away you see it oh wow at the bottom of storm warning so you always receive some type of warning that something is coming in and someone is being deceptive right and that way you're able to wrap up whatever the cycle is with that person without wasting a whole bunch of your time. You can take action to move away or run away from that situation. It gives you time for you to go ahead and come up, come up with or think of a way, um, a new a strategy on like how to deal with a certain situation um, as well as it allows you to guard your heart um, before that situation actually happens. Someone needs to make sure that you are staying true or be, being very confident in your um, capabilities. And you also need to make sure that with this woman holding a heart, that you don't lose your ability, um, your desire to love and to give to others. That's what makes you unique. That's what makes you special. That makes you, I'm hearing something about holier than thou. So some people may, uh, you know, they, they do things, they want to trip you up um, and they want you to be just average like everyone else. But uh, why? Why would you, right? Um, I'm hearing, I'll give you the sun, the moon, the stars, the and the mountains. I'll give you the world and all that you wish for and even more. Yeah, whoever you are, you're truly blessed. Um, yeah, so I mean, I, I, I just don't really know what else to say about that. Um, 
I'm just going to leave it there. So I hope that these messages were helpful. Um, some of you guys may have just needed some type of confirmation for some reason on something, but if so, um, I hope that this helps. Here you go. Um, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, all of that good stuff. And I will see you next time. Have a beautiful day, Cancer. Bye-bye now.